Howdy folks, Jeff here at Back to Country. Appreciate you joining us on the channel today. If this is your first time, my wife and I are building a homestead from the ground up. And it's a lot of work. It's Wednesday and that means time for another update. It's been another busy week working on the roads, widening the gate, and getting ready for delivery of our metal building as well as our telehandler. We had some issues with the telehandler, we'll cover that in another video, because delivery's going to come in today, and our metal building's supposed to be here tomorrow, so we should have an, some exciting updates here in the next few days, but for now, join us on what we did this week. Well, in the last uh, day, we got about three quarters of an inch of rain and uh, this morning had some generator problems so worked on that for a while and in the end we're gonna have to order parts so that's the way that goes but uh, we got work to do so I'm gonna try to get back to it so like I said we got about uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain yesterday and uh, it's a little bit wet but bottom line is we got to get this road done because we got delivery of that metal building coming this week and we got delivery of a telehandler coming this week so uh, lots going on a lot of work to do let me show you what we got going so if we look at the road here we can see that uh, I drove on it since it got wet yesterday tire tracks aren't too bad because it's not really that wet but uh, coming up this hill, that's why we put this rock on it so that we don't uh, get stuck or, you know, just slide around because this stuff gets, it's mostly clay. It gets pretty, pretty slick when it gets wet. So we tried spreading this stuff out different ways, tractor, bulldozer, etc., and all it did was make a mess. So unfortunately, we're going to have to do this by hand. So what we're going to do, I'm going to bring the tractor down here and uh, basically come down to the point where I haven't uh, worked it yet and we're just going to start throwing this rock in the bucket by hand so that we can uh, then put it back down thinner spread it out better so basically down here I guess would be our line so if we see here it thins out and then as we work up we get into several layers if we look back what we've already worked you can see all this is nicely compacted and pretty flat it's got a little bit of uh, looks like damage that we did right here I don't know if we spun out or what but we'll uh, recompact that later and it'll flatten all out again be good but the rest of it here looks pretty good until like I say we get up to about this point right here and that's where it starts to be kind of thick double layer so we'll take that top layer off, leave the bottom layer, fill in any holes so that we can then drive the compactor over that and smash it all down, compact it good, and have it ready for, uh, for use. And of course, we've got some big piles here along the side that can all be picked up. And that's pretty thick there and thick along that side. So yeah we'll just pick it up throw it in the bucket keep working our way up and as we get a bucket full then we'll drive up to the top and we'll spread it out up there where it's really thin i drove over this a couple times yesterday because i had to get in and out of here and uh you know it did the job but i'd rather get it laid out the way we like it and then later on we'll, you know, put gravel over the top of all this big stuff so that it's even better. This is just our base, keeps uh, everything solid so that it's not just sinking down into this clay. 
it'll make a solid road base like the other road. You can see there, the road compacted pretty good. So even without the rock, it's not that bad. But like I say, when it rains, it does get slick. And you want to be able to come up this uh, hill towing a load or whatever, which means you need traction on your truck. So we'll get all that taken off the top and then we'll start spreading it out up here where it's thinning out and spreading it a little bit further up onto the top. Eventually I'll cover all this with rock, but mainly right now I just want to make sure we got good traction to get to the top of the hill. Once you get to the top of the hill, it can get a little bit slick. You can see uh, my tire tracks where it was a little bit mushy, but uh, still came through without any problem. Like I say, eventually we'll cover all of this in rock, but uh, for now, we just work with what we got and take care of what we've done so far. So that's what we're doing this morning. I'm gonna get on it. So we fill the bucket. That bucket, I don't know how big it is. I always never have been able to find the answer to that, but it's over eight feet wide. It's a deep, it's a big bucket. And I estimate it's got about a ton of rock in it, which a ton of crushed concrete is $22 worth. So for $22 worth of rock that I just picked up, I moved approximately 20 feet and uh, you can see this is kind of what it looks like when I'm done and once I compact that it'll look real good hold up well but we still got all that to do so we ain't even close to done but we got to go dump this bucket and spread it out so that's what we're gonna do now is go spread this at the top and then come back and get another load. Of course, I'm gonna take a little break first because that's a lot of work.
right after several passes with the compactor she's good and locked in compacted in real well you know some of these areas that look like it's just nothing but dirt it's actually the dirt over the top of rocks and that's okay when it rains real good a lot of that dirt will wash down it's not perfect but this is about the most economical way that we can build our roads at this point we put in the dirt cover it with the big rock and then compact it in it seems to hold up well for us basically our only expense other than diesel to run the equipment is the rock and the rock we're paying $22 a ton and we hauled 18 ton for this hill here we may put more on later and of course in the long run you know we might come in on top of it with a, a flex base or a smaller rock and and coat the whole thing and then smooth it out from there this is mainly just uh, get things operational and and give us a good road to do what we need to do and our main objective here was to get a road that number one had a a slope that wasn't too great so that we can uh, pretty much drive any truck up it loaded and uh, not have any problems so this definitely will do that we've got uh, plenty of rock to create traction so that if it's wet and muddy that uh, the rock will create a solid base that your tires can grab onto and you'll be able to get up the hill no problem and that like I say was really objective number one that, that was the the number one goal was just making sure that uh, the rock anyway would create that traction base so that you don't get stuck trying to drive up the hill so mission accomplished definitely uh, can live with the the result it's fully operational I don't predict we're gonna have any problems and if we get in some heavy rainstorms and and have any problems we have plenty of experience now to to patch it up or whatever we got to do to keep it operational so this will get us through construction for sure and that was our goal we we don't have a lot of money to to spend on this stuff and you know put in asphalt or concrete or anything like that or even uh, bring in big truckloads of road base and do a, a proper road this is our our construction workaround so happy with the result on to the next job all right folks it's a beautiful tuesday morning here on the hundred we got the road finished yesterday so today it's time to work on the gate so what we decided to do is to offset the gate a bit which allows a truck to almost drive straight in like you would merge with traffic or whatever so let's go over the plan so we're down here with the mini excavator and our plan is pretty simple first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this gate now the gates already busted off because i hit it with the bulldozer yeah i know anyway it's already busted off but i got to cut this chain because when i put it on i welded this chain around it because unfortunately uh, we deal with thieves and somebody stole our gates before so when we put these gates back on we welded a chain around them to make it harder to get them off so I got to cut the chain to take the gate off and then I'm going to put a chain around this pole and I'll just lift it out with the excavator pull it right out of the ground that shouldn't be a big deal I got the mini excavator down here ready to go to work and then what we're going to do is i got this big pile of dirt here that 
Uh, we moved with the dozer and basically that was to block vehicles from coming in around the gate and we've got like a pit over on this side with a sheer drop off so that was just about preventing people from driving on in here and so if we look at the road uh, normally truck would come down the main road here and then they have to make this 90 degree turn to turn into the property and then it's another quick 90 degree turn to go up the hill so if your trailer and truck are too long what ends up happening is you're going to either clip that gate uh, or you would clip this gate depending on how you're trying to get in so what we're going to do is we're going to move this gate back probably about four feet and just split the difference and then we'll spread some of this dirt out around here and fill in this ditch a little bit so that if you come down the road you can come straight on down the road and just merge on over and go right here on up the hill so that's the plan so let's get her done so we used our portable battery powered whatever uh, grinder with a cutoff wheel on it and we just cut a link out of that chain easy peasy now we're just moving the gate out of the way next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move the dozer closer here or the dozer move the excavator closer so that we can uh, get a chain around this pull and we'll pull that post right out of the ground Nothing too complicated here. We just give a chain some wraps and run it up over the bucket and we're gonna see if we can pick it up and pull it right out of the ground now.
unfortunately I don't have a thumb on this machine that would be convenient to pick up sticks and stuff like this but it is what it is it actually has auxiliary hydraulics so maybe someday if I decide to keep this machine forever machine then maybe I'll put a thumb on it a hydraulic thumb we'll see who knows right now I'm still chasing leaks on this thing just little drips for the most part we stopped all the leaks we've got it running good it's obviously working fine we just have a few little hydraulic drips and I'd rather have them fixed and of course the air conditioner and all that kind of stuff I'd like to get fixed as well see if we can work a little magic with this little blade to smooth all this out a bit
So we messed up our rock work a little bit. Uh, Lorena hates it when I drive these tracked vehicles on the rock because when you turn, that's what it does. It stirs it all up. So I'll fix that, bring the compactor back down and drive over all this, make sure it's good and compacted. But as far as the, the road goes, I think we're pretty good. So a truck can drive straight across there come on through and go straight up the hill and what I'll do is I'll dig a new hole and put the uh, post back over this way so it's uh, set in from where it used to be it used to be out here uh, so we cleared I don't know three four feet at least inside of where the pole used to be and then we move that dirt out here to kind of make a smooth run. We'll run the compactor over that because this dirt is sandy loam. Uh, it's a very light dirt. You can see dusty dirt. It doesn't uh, it doesn't compact well, but we do have what we can to to make it the best we can so we'll clean this up run the compactor over it like I say smooth these rocks out and she'll be ready to go and then we'll put the post back in and depending on the distance to the the gate I think we're gonna be a little bit further than the old gate I may just buy a new gate and uh, put up a little bit longer gate so we'll see we'll see how all this comes out but so far i mean this is what you get for unskilled operator <laughs> i'm not a not a heavy equipment operator i can run it but that don't mean i'm good at it but you know i'm getting done what i need to get done so it's fun doing it and uh when you're a do-it-yourselfer you just do the best you can and that's what we're doing so stick with us all right so we ran the compactor over it several times we used the mini excavator to dig out the dirt and get it spread out a little bit with the little dozer blade on there and here's what it looks like if we walk right down the road we got plenty of room for a truck to drive right over this new dirt pad whatever you want to call it it's good and compacted yep solid we drove that compactor over it several times it's got a bit of a hump here it ain't exactly flat but at the end of the day all we care about is can a truck drive over it and they can we tried to keep it low on this side to preserve the ditch that's why it's higher on that side So again, this is what you get for unskilled labor. I just uh, imagine it in my head, do the best I can to, to build it, and this will definitely solve the problem. So if I stand back here, you see you can come down the road this way basically when you get to this point you just merge over and go right on up the hill and there's plenty of space to go up the hill so if you're looking at the uh, compactor you know that's parked on the road to go up the hill you can see the gate off to the right side lots of space this will work so that means we are ready for delivery. A couple more days and that building will be here. This project, other than uh, digging a hole and putting that post back in and putting a new gate on there, this project is done. All right, now we gotta figure out what's next. I think I need to go to town and get some fuel. As always, thank you so much for joining us on this journey. We appreciate y'all's support. 
Please don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps us out a lot. And stay tuned for what's next. As always, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.